Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I am bringing you in a trailer. Uh, this was a customer order custom trailer. So this bumper pull, it's a five horse 2022 Cimarron North Star. Um, customer built it out so he could pull it behind his truck and his motor home. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started on it and I'll show you some of the customizable features we can do to some of these trailers and yeah. So right up here on the front, We've got our eight inch channeled, um, it reinforced gooseneck front to make sure, you know, pulling it behind those motor homes, those bigger trucks, you get a little more torque with the braking and the acceleration. So having that extra strength right there is just gonna help with the durability and overall strength of the trailer as well. We got a electric jack on here and then our adjustable coupler and that's rated for 20,000 pounds. So um, that way we are getting you riding as level as possible on whichever vehicle you end up towing with. Um, we're able to, you know, make sure you're riding level because we don't want to overstress one axle over the other. And then our safety chains, battery breakaway, and then our plug. Exterior color on this one's going to be a charcoal metallic. Um, this color right now, because it's kind of gloomy out, it looks a little darker. And then, you know, in the sunnier days, it gets a little lighter. So it's kind of cool how it changes colors based on the color outside. But right up here, our front tack room, we've got a five foot front tack room. The, on the door, we've got a window, get some airflow going through if you need to. And then our brush box down below. So that brush box, I always do my stuff I use pretty often in that brush box. Um, so your hoof picks, your brushes. Uh, fly spray stuff like that I just keep in there and easy to access and then I'm not having to walk up into the trailer to grab it. We've got a step on this tack room door so you know that step is going to add some extra you're not having to jump up as high <laughs> to get into the trailer um, not having to step all the way over this ledge or anything so you're able to get up and in there easier especially with this trailer being eight foot wide we don't have that side rail right here so having the step just helps it makes it easier for anyone and then up there in the tack room to the right you'll see the spare tire and then you're probably wondering what all that electrical stuff is over there so we've got a battery box a battery cutoff switch um, this customer he went ahead and did the 30 amp package with the ac unit up above and that way if he's trying to kill some time at a show or something um, you can sit in here and have the ac blown on you and keep you cooler um, so you do have that AC up above, but then you have 30 or the breaker box and then your 110 as well. So then up above, you'll be able to see the AC. And then that one's got a heat strip on it as well. And we've got our five tier saddle rack and those, those saddle tiers are adjustable. So you can, you know, move them up and down. If you've got one saddle with a bigger horn and need some more space, you can get it in there. Um, if you wanted to add, it looks like probably one more would fit on there. Uh, we could get you another one of those for extra saddle space and everything. And then over on the partition wall, we've got our carpeted partition wall with the bridle hooks. So that carpet is just going to help prevent and alleviate some of that uh, swishing and swaying that the bridles will do while you're driving down the road and just keep your trailer in better condition and the bridles in better condition. So over here, so this one, I bet you noticed this ramp right here. It's pretty neat how we set this up. So um, this customer wants to haul horses, but then he's got a buggy or a golf cart uh, he wants to haul as well. So being able to load horses in the front, put the buggy in the back or vice versa, he's able to do so. And these dividers in here, when we get inside, I'll show you, uh, they actually swing both ways. So they're going to hinge both ways. So if you wanted to on and off load them, you know, reverse load them this way and then walk them off the back of the trailer, you can. Or if you wanted to load them in this side, you, there's so many different options you can do with the way we have this trailer set up for him. And then we've got the chest bar right here. And that way, just prevent if there's a horse in that stall, pre prevent it from trying to back out when you open that ramp up and get that ramp down. And then I'm gonna put this up real quick so you can see. So it's a seamless ramp. So it's gonna sit flush with the side of the trailer. And that way, when you're driving, you know, something eight wide, you have more limited visibility 
than usual um, but having the ramp be part of the side of the trailer is going to give you you know full visibility going all the way back so you can actually see a lot better too and then these do pop into place up top and that way these aren't going to be flying shut they're not going to be you know trying to hit a horse when you're trying to load because we're on an angle right now it's wanting to shut itself so having that little rubber piece up top that you can plug that into and get it out of the way get horses in and out whatnot just comes in handy so that's what it looks like when it's up against the trailer um, really nice operation right there be able to get you in and out really easily so on this one since you can load either way whether you want to do a standard load how typical trailers are you know loading them from the rear facing towards the traffic or if you want to reverse load them we got drop downs on both sides so drop downs on each stall i've got this one closed um, just due to that little grommet i wanted to show you right there but that comes down they pop into place so they're not going to be slapping against the trailer while you're driving and then our jail bars come down as well so if you wanted to check on horses offer some more water offer some more feed anything like that you're able to do it a lot easier than having to go into the trailer and actually get in there with the horses so just ease of access and ease of use right there comes in handy big time and then up above we've got our led lights that i forgot to flip on um so having those led lights when you're trying to tack untack in the dark or load unload in the dark is just going to come in handy big time or if you're sitting at a show and it's got dark out and you're sitting outside by the trailer you can turn the lights on and be able to see a little bit better so up above you'll see we've got an integrated hay pod up here so that integrated hay pod you've got covered storage and then this customer we went ahead and we put a generator box up there with the third with the plug to be able to run that ac if he wants to um, so having that set up, I mean, it looks slick and very sleek. In this trailer, we are actually sitting at eight feet, one inches tall too. So you'll notice how big this trailer actually is. Down below, we've got two 8,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. And then we've got our 17 and a half inch wheels. So really nice wheel and tire setup. We've got our Continental tires on there. Uh, make sure we're getting you down the road comfortably in the horses as well. So Cimarron trailers, they're an all aluminum construction. They've got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with a uh, tongue and groove type flooring that comes together. And then you also have a center every four inches. So that's a big one for me and my horses. I want to make sure they're standing on support no matter where we're going. So having those four inch centers, unless you have really small feet horses or minis um, they're going to be standing on a support no matter where they're at and then you also get standard on any Cimarron trailer it's a half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof and that roof it's got an R3 thermal value on it so keep you warmer in the winter cooler in the summer um, just keep the overall comfort of the horses better and then nice thing about it too is it's dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail so I know living down here on the front range seems every couple years we have hail season so um, it definitely comes in handy around there too they come with an eight-year structural warranty through your hitch to bumper so fantastic built trailers with great warranties on them so on the rear here you will see up top that's the gen box that i was talking about and then you will see the hay pod as well and the access point we've got the ladder on this 40 side door so we got the 60 40 opening and i'm actually going to shut this door real quick so you can see there we go so having this door shut you got the easy angle ladder so this actually pops up and it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier going up at that angle instead of straight up so being able to go at that angle just makes you know makes e anything easier so easy to use too and then our 60 40 door with the ramp so ramp if you wanted to load once again load horses on and then walk them right off you could do so if you wanted to load the buggy in the back or 
you know, you got a four wheeler, a side by side, something like that, you're able to do so easily. Um, we went with the bigger ramp on this one. We went with a 60 inch ramp, so it's a bit longer. And that way we're able to get stuff in and out easier and the break over is not so bad on it. So coming up here into the stall area, we'll kind of show you just a brief back here and then I'll want to show you from the front too. So these dividers, you'll notice right away we've got the airflow dividers with their pads on each side. So those pads come in handy for the lighter colored horses, um, your grays, your paints, your palominos. When they get to rubbing against this aluminum, they start discoloring a little bit and if you're going to a show, you don't want that so much. So having those pads helps with that and then just the overall comfort of the horse as well. So these dividers are double hinged because we are able to put them either way. So um, if you wanted to open them from the back and have it open towards me, we could do so. Or if you wanted to open that way and have it open that towards the front of the trailer, you could do so. So in order to do it, all you got to do is come in here. You grab these pins and then these dividers just swing. So very, very easy application to do so. And then coming back, they just pop up on this little, you can see that right there. Um, they sit on that little rubber piece. And then this actually pins down and in. And you heard that hit. So pins down and in, and that way it is solid and it is right there. Um, so coming back up, you just, go like that and then get it in the hole there and on the top as well. So you're able to do that super easy and they're sturdy too. So a horse leaning against it, not going to push it out of the way, um, fall over or anything like that. One thing I will say, if you're doing so, um, make sure you have one side connected because I was messing around with this trailer yesterday and I didn't have one side connected and uh, these are heavy gates. They're heavy duty. So um, the one came at me a little bit because it wasn't pinned at all anymore because you can remove them completely too. So if you wanted to haul with just an open trailer, you could do that as well. So it just comes back down and then the top pops in. Simple as that. So we've got two partial dividers and two stud stalls in this one. Um, that way, depending on what kind of horses hauling or whatnot, um, some younger horses like to step on their neighbors. So having the stud stalls up there just helps out with that. Or if you want to use those for storage, um, there's lots of different options there. So we're lined and insulated in this area, um, completely lined and insulated, ceiling as well. And then we've got a couple roof vents up front. When we go to the front, I'll show you those. This customer, we had added a 110 outlet up here on the right hand side and that way he can use it however he pleases and it's right there for him and accessible. So we'll come around here to the head side of the trailer or the hip side, whichever way you want to do it, whichever way you want to load the horses. So we've got the same setup with the drop downs on the four stalls and then this front stall's got the ramp on it again. So drop downs going all the way. And then this one has that rubber piece as well. So you're able to pop it into place, get it out of the way, make sure it's not slamming shut, hitting any of the horses or people that are trying to operate and go in and out. We've got two more additional 16 inch awning lights up there. So once again, be able to see pretty easily. And then up in here, Let's see here. So our butt bar comes down and you can take it off, get it out of the way, however you want to do it. There's, there's lots of different ways to, you know, maneuver that butt bar around. And I misspoke earlier. We've only got one stud stall in here. Sorry. Apologies. And the nice thing about this too, if you wanted to move your dividers around and switch stalls, you could do so because you do have the pin application. Um, just make sure you get them in correctly and everything. So right here, once again, we have the same setup with those, with those dividers. So we are able to swing both ways. So if we were loading horses from this way, as we just walked in, I would unpin this side and swing this gate towards the front of the trailer. And then 
you're able to load reverse reverse load um, so really nice application that Cimarron has done here um, just with the cutouts of being able to make these dividers swing both ways and being able to get these horses in and out with ease make it more comfortable for them you know you got nice show horses all of them have their quirks and some of them don't like to back out of a trailer so being able to walk them on and off and not have an overly long trailer either just helps out big time so i did want to show in these stalls these first three stalls we've got stall fans and those are run off of a switch in the back i don't have them on right now because it's a little chilly out so i didn't want some extra breeze coming on me um, but the switch is in the back and then we've got our opti bright led lights one above each stall so and I'm actually going to just open these up real quick so you can see just how open this trailer gets once you're going. Okay. So I'm just going to go all the way through. Yep. Come on, little buddy. Oh, I guess you got to undo the pin <laughs> correctly in order to do it. Um, so right now, because we're on the slant, once again, it's gonna start you know, pushing this way a little bit. So we actually have these clips um, down here. Once the dividers are over on that side, we can clip them over to the side. So I'm gonna keep going through, get all of these out of the way, and then I'll show you how they clip here. I should have done this from the other way. Um, <laughs> that was not smart, so I apologize for that, but I'll show you guys here how they clip over to the side. So get them all clipped and they can clip either direction. So no matter which way you're loading horses, you're able to clip these, get them out of the way and be able to, you know, load with ease. Okay, that one, I'm not being smart there. There we go, okay. So you get the gist of it. They all open up, um, get up out of the way. And that way, you know, you're able to walk in and out with these, get these horses in and out or load your buggy, whatever you want to do, um, you're able to do it with these. So that's how big it is. Cause we're sitting once again, like I said, eight wide and then eight one tall. So in these, I did not clip that correctly. I clipped it to itself. <laughs> <laughs> that was smart <laughs> on me. Um, yeah, so that, that is how those dividers work. Very nice operation, be able to open and close them both directions and being able to load those horses, horses up both directions. And then like we just did right here, we walked on through that side ramp. Now we're walking off through the back. So this trailer, we're sitting 28 feet on the floor and then, I, well, I already mentioned it, but we're sitting at eight wide and then eight one tall. Um, reason we went with the eight one tall, a little bit taller is because when you have that integrated pod, it does come into the ceiling of the stall area a little bit. So we went a little bit taller so those horses still have extra height in there for them. And then right here, we do have our 30 amp plug. So if you wanted to hook up a generator from the outside, just a portable sitting on the side, and get your AC running, you'd be able to do so with that 30 amp plug right there. So again, this is a 2022 Cimarron Northstar five horse bumper pull. Stock number that we've got on it is gonna be 5N, 211, 910, and that's 5N, 211, 910. If you guys have questions on, you know, this trailer, any other trailers you see on our website, if you're looking for something like this and want to get something built we could definitely go over some options for you um, don't hesitate to reach out to me click the link below you'll go to the website where you see this trailer and all of our other new and used inventory um, but if you have any questions you can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996 uh, call my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email at morgan and that's m-o-r-g-a-n dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day